Hello my Taurus gang, welcome to your video. So this is a reading for your general day-to-day um, -day life to see what is in store for you. I haven't done this in a very long time so please bear with me. Um, I'm back up and running on this channel. So let's see what is in store for you then. So the first card is the King of Unicorns and I am using the Unicorn deck um, for this reading also. So we have the King of Unicorns that come out for you and it says you are blessed with majesty, vision and power. So you are going to be having a lot of um, visions during um, like what you want to do with your life. You, you've got a specific dream that you want to do. Is this a certain thing that you want to perceive? And you have got the power, you've got that willpower, you've got that determination in you to actually pursue in doing this. So well done on yourselves. So that is really good. Okay, the Moonology deck now we have. So I will be um, saying more um, meanings with the card um, book that come with it. So with this deck of cards, you have the new moon in Scorpio. So you are going to be working through some fears. So there is a lot of fears that you have been going. Um, I'm getting some of you, you've been going out of your mind with certain things that is going on in your life. And you are going to be going through this um, situation where you want to put things to rest, so to speak. And this is including these fears that you have bottled up inside you. So let's see what other meanings we have here for this card. Okay, so we have, oh, this is an affirmation for you. So they're telling you, you need to have some sexy time, Taurus. Okay, um, and the meanings also to this card is, it's time to let go of a grudge that you're holding. Try and move on from any jealousy. Stop being obsessive. Could it be that you're being way too paranoid? And try and make a certain investment in something. So that is the new moon in Scorpio. The next one is new moon in Taurus, which is saying that there is prosperity that is lying ahead of you. So there is a lot of um, prosperity that is coming in. Also, we have... An affirmation which is saying get or give a massage that is to have a new healthy body and have a new healthy mind the meaning to this card is you will soon be able to afford the thing or things that you've been dreaming of try again a clear conscious on what you value most that will help you find your own inner peace take some time out to pamper yourself and start a standing order to a savings account, no matter how small it may be. Okay, the next one then we have is the new moon in Cancer. So it is saying you and your loved ones are safe. So if you've been having a lot of problems and a lot of worries about your family, your loved ones... Um, just know that you and your loved ones are safe no matter what the situation may be. Your affirmation is make sure you put your family first. The meanings also for this card is let someone get a bit closer to you than you get a bit closer to them. Let them come into you. There is a new cycle that is going to be starting for your child or for your children. It is time to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you to banish any insecurities that you have. And spending time near water will bring you the sense of peace. And also it will bring you some answers as well. Okay. Um, the next deck then is the Archangel um, deck. And we have the first card which is the Hydration card so here it says dear archangel Raphael, 
Thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy and appetite stay at optimal levels throughout each day. So basically, this is a big motivation card. This is a motivation for you to stay healthy, um, have a healthy mind, have a healthy body and just do a lot of um, healthy eating and a lot of healthy drinking here as well. Okay. Next card then is to use your natural healing abilities. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly guiding, encouraging and supporting my healing work. So they're telling you, you have a lot of healing that you have inside of you. You are a, a very thoughtful person. You, you, um, you like to help people out. So there is a lot of healing that is going on inside of you at this time as well. You then have the sunlight card. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me to enjoy the benefits of the sunshine in safe and healthy ways. So they are telling you you need a lot of like vitamin, uh, vitamin. you need a lot of iron. Um, you're going to be absorbing all of these good nutritions at this time as well. But I'm also getting some of you, you may end up going on some sunbeds as well. So try and use the natural light than going on artificial lights okay the tarot cards now so we have the ten of swords so there is um or was a painful ending that you had experienced or you're going to be experienced this could be it to do with a relationship or a job that have actually came out of the blue and you was not expecting it and it hit you really hard and it felt like um, it just shook your will so to speak like you just did not see it coming this could be also just to do with a family member that I'm getting for some of you as well um, I'm also seeing a family member or a friend may have stabbed you in the back and this is where you didn't see things coming. Um, you thought you could trust this person, but it came to it that you actually couldn't. Uh, you couldn't trust this person at all. You couldn't even trust them with your own life or anything little. Um, and this made you feel like you were deeply hurt. You thought you could trust this person, and they just ruined things for for the both of you. You know, for your friendship, for some of you. But in others of you, I'm seeing that you are going to be picking yourself up. You are going to be moving forward. You're going to have a lot of strength. You're going to have a lot of courage. And you are going to be coming out of that as well. And you will end up being the best person in this scenario as well. If it is to do with someone that have done you wrong. Okay, the death card. So there may have been like an end into a relationship some of you there may have been an ending to do with a loved one um, that it happened so quick and fast that you wasn't expecting it or it was um, it just came out of the blue but for some of you I'm seeing there is a phase that is going to be coming to a completion where there is a big transformation coming in for yourselves and you are going to be going into a new beginning and going to a new state of mind and you are going to be open to new possibilities. You're going, your um, old doors are going to close for the new ones to open for yourselves. And with that, there is opportunities that is coming in for you that is looking really good for yourselves. And there is to be a lot of change, major changes that is coming in for you as well, for you to look out for. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse so some of you I'm seeing that you want more and more of something or someone wants more and more of you um, and there is this feeling of never being satisfied with it but I'm also seeing um, that with the other cards with the ten of swords and with the death card where there may have been a loss of a person you may feel like you were supposed to have um, inheritance or something of that nature but 
you didn't end up getting it. That's why I'm, I'm feeling for some of you that you wanted more and more and more or you wasn't expecting to have less than what you was given. So please take whatever you can resonate with that. Um, but others of you, I'm feeling that there is to be a lot of challenges and setbacks within finances, within your job situation as well. And others, you may be um, going through a phase where there is a relationship or marriage that's on the rocks that is causing a lot of things to happen that was unexpected that have broke your heart or broke your person's heart that would just come out in the blue and you just did not expect it we have the ten of wands then which is the next one so you are going to be taking on a lot of burdens from a certain situation or you had um, t taken on someone else's burdens and you were weighed down with a lot of responsibilities. There is to be a lot of hard work that you put into a certain situation that caused a lot of rife that I'm getting as well. But there is a lot of, for some of you, working extra hours or doing something extra to get something in. There may be some responsibilities that have been adding fuel to a fire to a certain situation that I'm getting as well. Okay, we have the judgment card. So there is a situation where you're going to be judged. There is to be rising above a certain person or rising above a certain thing that is going on in your life. And you need to realise that you're destined for better. You deserve better than what you are getting right now. And you need to let your old self go to let the new in for yourselves. And there is a major life changing decision that is coming in for you. You may be at a bit of a crossroads, but whatever you do, you are going to be doing it with an open mind, an open art. And no matter what you do, no matter what you decide, you are going to be putting the past behind you to move forward. And I'm getting for some of you, if you have a lot of struggles, just go and tell someone about your struggles. So it's not just you dealing with it on your, on your own. So you have someone there to help you, to help support you through them struggles that you're going through. Okay. You have the devil. So I'm sensing there is a lot of toxicity between you and another person. This could be linked to some type of jealousy that has been going on. Um, and there may be a bit of addictions or habits that have been happening. And you've come to that conclusion that you're like, you know, enough is enough. Like, I don't need this. Um, I don't need this toxic energy around me. I just need a lot of positive energy around me, positive um, environmental as well. Others of you, I'm seeing that someone has an hold on you. So this is what is making you feel a bit down at this moment. Um, you feel like you wanna get out of this energy, but there's something or someone holding you back from moving forward with your life. And there is a lot of um, unhealthy things that is, um, going on that is around the situation i'm getting someone is also a bit controlling and a bit codependent as well like they they depend on you for things and they're holding things against you so you can't go and have your freedom that you want but you're entitled to have your own freedom you have your own mind you have your own what's it that um speech um, yeah, so you need to try your best to try and come out of it. So whatever struggles you have, please go and tell someone to help you get out of it, to help support you. Okay. Eight of Pentacles then. So you are going to be working very hard to improve your new, your new lifestyle. You're going to be having a lot of determination. You're going to be concentrating on your life there is new things coming in for you 
you are going to be a very hardworking person. You're going to put in a lot of things into something or you did put a lot of um, hard work into a certain situation. There is a lot of effort that you're going to be putting into some important decisions and with that you are very committed to make a new start in life and make some new changes and the situations are actually going to get better for you things are going to get better for you and you are going to be the better person in the end um at the end of it so think positive like i said get that support get that help and you will fly through whatever situation you're going through you will get out of it and you will have justice at the end of it okay we then have a card that come out for you which is saying ask and it says ask us to help you in a situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf we are governed by many universal laws and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So like I said, you have your own choices, you have your own decision, you have your own mind. Don't let someone else do that decision and them choices for you. No matter how you struggle, please tell someone about it to get the help and support that you desire and what you need. That's very good. Okay, we have then the Cupid card. So we send great waves of love into your heart, to your mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of glorious aspects. So it's telling you, you are entitled to love. No matter what situation you're going in, just use things with love. You are a lovable person. You deserve to be loved. You deserve love. So this is what he's saying. You know, just love life itself. Okay. Heart chakra. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is in the centre within your physical being, attuned mostly to your love. And it is safe for you to love. Like I said, it is safe for you to love. You deserve to be loved and be loved with a open heart as we stand with perfect protection and guidance so they're saying you can love you deserve to be loved so get out of that toxic energy even if it's a relationship get out of it you don't need it whatever it is and just focus on yourself okay wow there's a new partner coming in for you taurus so if you get out this toxic energy, get away from that person, you will have a new partner. And this is a chance meeting that is not a mistake, Taurus. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your praise. Pay careful attention to the new people that is around you and that we send your way and that is going to be in your life. You will recognise them by your sense of familiarity, comfort and also the sense of safety. Okay, right. Next card then we have is the purification. So I'm going to be telling you what they mean out of the book. Um, I know there's a lot of purity in your heart. You have a lot of purification that you need to be doing as well. Okay, let's see. Right, put your whole focus onto how may I serve instead of what might I get out of this and everything will go better for you. Try and affirm loving thoughts about yourself and others. Avoid any chemicals and toxins. Avoid any behaviours that lead to feelings of any guilt or shame as these lower your self-esteem. Leave situations that are out of integrity without, with your true beliefs. So that is your purification card. Okay, you have the card of heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, Discuss your feelings with each other. So with you and your person, try and discuss the feelings that you both have. Um, 
towards each other. This may be a new person or this may be the person that you're currently with that is very toxic. Um, you just need to have this conversation to try and get down to the bottom of things. Stay optimistic about your love life is the next card. So positive thinking and faith will bring in your new romance. So this is when your new partner is coming in. Okay. Express your love. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Soulmate. Yes. This new partner is, in fact, your new soulmate. So this is your soulmate coming in. And this is, as I said, new partner. This is your new love that is coming in. This is the one that you've been waiting for. This is a new person that has stirred romantic feelings within yourself. Okay. We now have the... Um, the Lenneman deck now which is what I'm going to be doing okay then so your first card is the moon card and this stands for the moon denotes that you can count on success and acknowledgement and promotion it also stands for a strong intuition and some psychic powers and also to do with your soul as well the next one is the book card see what the book is saying it's been a long time since I used these ones okay so this is saying a secret but also the moon represents a secret as well so this is a card that denotes a secret something that is not very much definitive um, as it is still hidden uh, also, there may be a contract or a large amount of knowledge that may be coming in for you as well. So these both represent secrets as well. So something is being um, hidden from you um, or you're hidden things from someone um, with a lot of regards to um hidden knowledge and hidden information okay next we have the fishes okay so the fishes card is the next one so the fish is a classical card for money so everything to do with finances and money is indicated by this card it can also stand for a businessman so there may be some secrets involving a money situation um yeah so There's a secret about some knowledge regarding money or finances that could be linked to a male um, or a businessman. Please take whatever you can resonate with that. I'm not very used to doing these cards, so yeah, okay. We then have we have the tree. We have the tree which is the next card okay so the tree is a topic on health so you may have some problems regarding your health or someone that's close to you may may have problems regarding um, health or there is some problems going on in your life that may be linked to uh, these secrets and these money situation that is involved so there's a hidden secret regarding money and finances could potentially be to do with a business person a businessman in particular or you're a businessman keeping things under wraps 
and it is causing some health issues. So there may also be a signing of a contract involved. Okay, um, and we have a male. So yeah, that is a male, a very strong here. Something health issue probably to do with a male. Male got strong health issues. Um, and have some finances going on. Um, for some of you, I am getting with the next card is the bouquet. So this is a card of good luck. So you will receive an invitation on a present or you're going to be getting engaged. So I am getting, there may be someone that's coming forward with the invitation, um, a marriage proposal, engagement, or they are going to be asking you out for some of you. So there is, um, but it could also be linked to a, when Mother's Day is on its way, there is a male that is going to be getting you flowers for Mother's Day. Um, or there is someone coming in with some type of offer for you. That could potentially be a best friend. So you may have a best friend that is coming in with some offer. Maybe this is a male friend male friend that is very friendly that could be your best friend also what else let's see what else it could be linked to so a friendship yeah someone that is friend someone that you can rely on um and this could be a new lover. It could be something regarding flowers and finances to do it with um, a brother, a husband, or something along that uh, along along that line. We also have the star card. Okay, so this is a good luck card that's coming in for you. Um, whatever it is, it is success coming in. If it's to do with the relationship, then things are going to go well. There is also um, spirituality, astrology and psychic powers that may be involved also here. I apologise, my baby, she, uh, she just woke up and now she's having a little... Uh, she's having a little play, so I do um, apologise for that. Okay, let's see what we have for you then from some hidden truths that your person wants to tell you but they haven't told you yet. So the first card is, I remember every detail of that day. You speak to me through music. <laughs> You came closer than anyone. We both know I am not the one for you. I love you unconditionally. I bury myself in work to forget you. I'm so attracted to you. I want to tell you how I feel. It was my fault, but I blamed you. My life is not as together as it seems. And I want to be more than friends. Okay, I've got some cards that I made myself. So let's see what they have to say. Okay. So your person is saying, I love being intimate with you. I apologise for the lighting. This is actually the natural light. Please don't hate me for ghosting you. 
we have a strong bond that is karmic. Okay, you have legal issues. So you may be involved with the court, judges, immigration, lawyers, or the police. Your person says, I always dream of you. Freedom, there is a leap of faith and some opportunities coming in. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Time of night, so it is not the right time for something. A move or a journey is going to be entering your life. Skull of the night, so something is no, not now, or it is negative. Book of the night, get more information on someone or on something. I'm sorry for the hurt and pain that I caused you. This person is here to give you a life lesson. This connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in the higher realms. A surprising discovery of facts that were hidden from you brings to disillusions. The truth is now to be exposed to the light. A stalemate situation, someone needs to take a decisive action. And the fight card, so there's arguments, physical fights, competition, or being at war with someone. Okay, we now have some soulmate cards. And it says, two hearts merge through the explosion of love. United, they create unlimited wealth. Together, they fulfill their dreams. From a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect, yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred, for they each help us to grow in love and wisdom. Your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just as you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. This is a favourable time for matters of the heart, a time for inspiration and healing. A relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into your reality. I am forever grateful for your loving kindness and for the joy you bring to my life. You are a gift from the eternal heart of love. A blessing from a most benevolent universe. A new love is coming your way, absolutely. Yet, as in order for this to manifest, you must first release the past. Are you ready? All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. Your love is like a burst of sunshine on a cloudy day. Your smile is imprinted in my heart. Your beauty reflected by the stars. Your essence is the air I breathe. Okay, so I'm going to be doing answers to your questions. So I want to give you... Um, some time and minute for you to think about a question that you want answered and then I'll tell you um, what the answers are starting from now <laughs> okay so the first answer we have for you is ask for help from others like I said in the cards ask for support and ask for help from others you have not even a little bit and then you have the last answer which is no the answer is no okay then taurus so that is your reading i hope you enjoy your reading if so please like share subscribe and hit that notification bell and until next time take care bye bye